Now we have another experiment for you to predict, so let's have a look at the setup straight away. Now we have here an aluminium tray. In it there is some iron wool and it's just resting, waiting in that tray, ready to be set on fire. Now it's on a ruler which is balanced on the peak of a plastic triangle. At the moment it's completely balanced and right now this end is a little bit heavier than this end which is white in the air. Something of course is going to change. We would like you to predict what's going to happen when I burn, set fire to or oxidise the iron wool. Write it down. Okay, I'm now going to light the iron. You should have written down what you think is going to happen. And be very careful not to touch it, we're just going close enough to actually light this iron wall. Well, I am touching it a little bit, but it's okay, it's not actually going. Now, what is happening is the iron is reacting with the oxygen in the air. And the oxygen is combining with the iron. That means the mass of this product is getting heavier and heavier, or getting greater and greater, and then the force downwards should hopefully be greater than the force down at this side. We should, in time, see the iron oxide produced by taking the oxygen from the air, combining with the iron, we're seeing it getting such a great mass, it does exactly that. 